Yo, what's up? My name's Petrowski. I just wanted to make a super quick video kind of bringing some light and shining some light on one of the most insane investments over the past year that I've ever seen. Uh, and I'm really sad to say that I didn't invest in this properly and I definitely regret it. Um, Santa presents from 2021 are up to 805k minimum a piece. That is unprecedented for a sealed item or a sealed box to raise from, you know, maybe like 100k during the event, like a higher tier box, 100k during the event up to 800k a year, one year later is just not even one year later. The Christmas event, um, you know, it's not even for four months, eight, you know, eight months later is just, it's unprecedented. It's insane. We've never seen a rise this high in such a high quantity sealed product. So I always recommend people invest in sealed product. And what I mean by sealed product is things like the the loot boxes that come out during holiday events, the the Santa presents, the Xmas presents, the goodie bags, um, et cetera, et cetera. You can actually see the 2020 Santa presents, the one that are a year older are actually cheaper. They're still 415K, which is a super solid price. And they've made a lot of money on investing in those. I actually have a couple of these, um, but man, those who made that 2021 investment are really swimming in the cash right now. It, it really worked out well. I mean, so when ha what happens is the reason these are more expensive than these is because these had more desired and better vanities. It's just a dice roll. It just depends how people prioritize things and you know what people like, et cetera, et cetera. I'm assuming a lot of it, if I remember correctly, the winged helmet was really popular. I think that's honestly carrying a lot of the price. Winged helmet also became colorable uh, pretty recently. So I think this is something that is really raising the price of the Santa presents being a 10 mil, you know, 11 mil almost plus vanity at all times is, is really, really, really impressive. I'm honestly not, I don't really remember super well what else was in that. I'm trying to remember what else. Another was the Xmas sack. I think that was another. Let's see our gift sack or something. Let's, let's look that up. Gift sack. That's one that I remember. What else came in this? Yeah, gift sack is up to one mil a piece. I invested a decent amount during this Christmas event, uh, but at the same time, I didn't invest too much because I wanted to save up for the Lunar New Year event. And that's what makes the Christmas event really interesting is because it's only around one month away from the Lunar New Year event. And people really care about the Lunar New Year event because of shiny charms. It's the only event usually, except for the 10 year anniversary event this year, which was a unique case. It's the only event generally that brings shiny charms into the game. So people like to save up to get those, you know, once in a year, you know, annual shiny charms. People care about shiny hunting, myself included, right? Um, so it's it's just really crazy. So sometimes people underinvest in the in the Christmas event because of this. And this is a huge case of underinvesting alongside um really high desire for a lot of these vanities. And it's just really crazy to see this. Like imagine so a good way to show how big of a deal this is and how much people might have made. Let's say someone had so let's say they were hundred K a piece during during the event let's say someone bought a hundred of them that's 10 mil but let's say someone spent 10 mil on santa presents during the christmas event last year how much money would they have if they sold them now for 800k a piece let's do 800k times that 100 obviously pretty simple math um but is that i think i think i messed something up um no, yeah, that's right right yeah no that's, that's obvious so yeah if someone's yeah well i'm terrible at math if someone spent 10 mil on Santa presents back during the Christmas event, less than a year ago, eight months ago, they could have 80 million Pokemon now. That is insane to me. That's only, that's only a hundred. That's not even like that insane high of a quantity, right? Um, imagine making 70 mil within eight months time of investing. That is a very extremely, uh, you know, very niche, unique, uh, uh, very productive, uh, you know, eight months of investing. That's very, very impressive. I made like 20 mil in the past eight months from my investments, just from sealed products. I made a, I made a lot more in other products and other cosmetics and stuff, but just for mine, and I'm still holding, I'm not selling. So I don't have that in pure cash or I don't have it in liquid form, but it's really interesting to see stuff like this. I just, if you invested in these, congratulations. I'm very, very happy for you. You made a lot of money and it's something to be proud of. Um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to bring light to this, talk about this for a little bit. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do make sure to like the video physically and subscribe for more, more daily Pokemon content. Uh, that's pretty much it. Have a great day, guys. Make smart investments. I'll see you later. Peace.